It's tea ceremony day. Well, I've been waiting on getting the space to do this for quite some time. Today's a day. Uh, I've turned the fans off and I've got the photo shoots and weights and measures and all that sort of stuff. And uh, all right, let's get this video all done and then we'll hit the road and uh, um, get some windage. I've got the well, so I'm on the scoot. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, I'll get to this. Um, uh, last but not least, this is a real deal tea ceremony gong with one of these real deal strikers, uh, cushion strikers. These are awesome. Okay, so this is to summon the, those for tea ceremony. Okay, now let's get into this. Ah, oh, let's see now, I've got some notes and things down here. No one, even I can't read this, but um, this uh, hodgepodge of hieroglyphics. Okay, so first of all, we have, uh, let's see, um, the Iron Chargama. Don't have any top rings for this one. Um, and sometimes people don't want the top rings or use them. They use the iron hook kind of things hook in there here that way the rings don't catch on something and then you uh, spill what's in there and you say stuff like ah yes anyway so what we're going to call this one is a uh, iron char plus working electric Could have worked on that uh, no top rings um, now uh, let's see this in here it's quite good indeed a little bit of rusting there um now what i've done is i've checked them all i didn't put any liquid in, in them i just i did the uh the sighting uh the the uh with the light did the lighting check um and yeah these are all fine uh, i've seen them before so rusted out the, the holes in them and i've seen them with uh, uh welded up and all that sort of stuff this one what happens is the tan the tannins in the tea clean out the pots uh, once you uh you boil the tea i've had one that was this one would just one boil i reckon be fine um i've had one that was really rusty way more than what i'm calling rusty over there and uh i must have boiled that thing like eight times and then it just cleaned up pristinely so you boil tea pour it out boil the tea and the tannins what they call tannins in the tea and clean out uh, the innards. So this one's pretty good. Most of them are pretty good. Um, some of them are a little bit. I took photos of all the innards. This one here will take a few, probably four or five rounds, something like that, of um, uh, tannins and tea to boil that. I mean, back in the day, they'd have um, what they call smokeless charcoal, a sumi, and, uh, and that would heat the tea that way. Um, now, all right, so this thing here has, I put that on within seconds, because it really heats up fast. And uh, I put that in the off position now, but, um, hang on, hang on off. Uh, and I could smell instantly the dust was burning kind of thing, so, uh, and that heated up really quickly. And uh, thankfully, you know, because under a hot tin roof and all, <laughs> anyway, I quickly turn that off. Okay, so that comes with. Um, and I'll have to wrap it and put it in and do all that sort of stuff and all that kind of bizzo. Um, so yeah, I'm sea freighting this stuff. Um, most, I'll, I'll air freight that. Um, and uh, so yeah, it takes a long time. Generally, six weeks to three months. Uh, just due to weight. Um, they're not exactly fun to pack. But it's going to eventually cool down. <laughs> uh, but anyway, it's a good exercise. Get in here. Rah, make this happen. So I'm very pleased. This one here has a beautiful lid to it. Look at that. Nice design. Good reflection there too. That's, that's a beauty. All right. So, real deal. Old school iron piece. It's not exactly fat. But let's put it up here. Here we go up there. Okay, now, um, next on the price is, yes, right, if you call in the next 10 minutes, uh, we'll include, uh, what we got here? Uh, this one here, uh, no top rings for this one, we're calling this one Spiky, obviously. So Spiky, yeah, he'll need some attention, uh, just some boil, some tea, eventually that will, no, eventually, it doesn't take that long. 
And now you clean it up. No top rings for this one. I used to go to this Buddhist place out in the countryside. It was far away when I was going to a particular auction house. And on the way back, I'd come through the mountains, uh, the mountain pass. But prior to the steeps of the mountain, um, on, on these flatlands, uh, uh, coming up to the, the mountain, there was this Buddhist shop I would stop in. They've got all that sort of stuff. Eventually, uh, I'll get around there. Going there again. But anyways, this is this is spiky and uh, he's awesome also. Um, I'm not gonna I'll put that on so I don't confuse him with holy. <laughs> I wasn't sure what that called him. I was spinning him around. I will get to that. Anyways, now so spiky's really nice too. So there we are. There's spiky. Now what we got here is um smiley. <laughs> Hey, see, my um, my stock system is excellent. Now, um, this one here, it's like it's brand new in there. Beautiful. Got the top rings. Now, with this design, because these rings touch this base, uh, what happens is you plonk it down and then you, they're easy to come off. See how wide these are? Generally not that wide, so these are designed to easily take those off. So that these rings, when they're touching this pot, they don't heat up. And then you, you when once it's all heated up, and you're like, oh, that's great. You know, you've got your glove and you go, oh, that's great. You take your gloves off, oh, no worries. And go like this and you say stuff like, ah. <laughs> There's a scene out of The Good Life. That 1970s English. <laughs> hey, Richard Briers, mate. He was hilarious. Okay. Now, Tom and Barbara Good. If you haven't seen that show, you're missing out on something in life. Now, it's a beautiful piece right here. It's got one of these, what are we calling these? The, the talons, iron talon thingy majiggy. All right, that's what that is. That's the technical term for it. This is a beautiful piece. Right then, now, um, so I can't just chuck it all in. I have to pack and do this and that and bloody blahs and this sort of thing to make it happen. So, there we go. Right. Okay, now what we have next is, all right, that was smiley. What have we got written down here? Brass smiley all right so let's see it's um now brass smiley um we've got a nice large iron talony majiggy and uh this here yeah this is brass and you got some uh, patina coming along with this beautiful piece indeed and i'll have to uh I'll get the air hose and clean all that out so this is i would say might be, Yes, it's had some had some use, but not a lot compared to some of the others. There you go, brass smiley with iron talons. I don't know, it reminds me of a hawk. Hawk feet. Now, uh, won't be long now before I hop on the rig and go for a ride. Someone's probably going to ask me about these. I will be getting around to those, those dearly wheelies. Now, uh, this unit here, this is really cool. The Tunny fella handed this my way ages ago and said, Oh, can you do something with this? And righto. So, we're calling this the Tunny fella. He's actually here today. His mother uh, showed up yesterday. Uh, if you haven't seen last um, yesterday's video, I mentioned it. Uh, yeah, she's all healthy and happy and she's okay, so great to hear. Um, and, uh, yeah, someday we're going to go all together with a mate, another mate uh, um, to an auction house. Um, one of my American buddies, he said, hey, I want to go to the, no, uh, the market and uh, we'll go together and sell some stuff. Right, let's get back to it. Now, um, all right, we're calling this Tunny Fella Brass Hanboon Hanboon. He said, I oh, will sell it half each. And I did... Uh, collect half the money each that means half half hand and hand and half half all right uh, plus cool iron hot plate this is rad yes now this i was um oh let's have a look in here very very good condition yeah that that fits there brass and iron and that's brass too right? got the rings 
this is good. Got some patina going on. Really nice. Some ladies long hair. Um, now this dealy really here, I was thinking, oh man, I can't get it in there. But if you just go like that, and go like that, turn it just a little bit, and it does go in. So I'll wrap this and put some dealy wheelies in there to make sure it won't rattle around and tightly, so it'll be nice and tight packed. And so that does fit in nicely. So we'll uh, get to that at some stage to doing that yeah it's a, it's a real good one as i say i've tested all of them to the light and they're far from bad yep you might find you might wrap the rings and pop them in there something like that. okay yeah they're not fun to pack this sort of stuff right let's move on to uh should we move on to rusty uh what about we go with this one here? Um, all right, we'll go rusty. Hang on. You go like that. You go like that. You go like that. Yeah. See, all, all, uh, all planned out. Yeah. All right, we got that bit of key eye on that one, obviously. Similar to spiky. Mm -hmm. Rusty has top rings, needs boiling tea. Now you'll find pretty rusty in there, but nothing even near anything. I've, I've, I've repaired easily. Not repaired, but just cleaned up. Yep, the talon, tannins in the tea will clean that up quite easily. And that rhymes. And that's good by me. Now, um, quite rusty in there. That's, um, I got the air hose on, all of them actually. Um, and, uh, yeah, it takes a preparation mate it takes a lot sourcing everything everything i do just for i even put my sweat on it now oh actually when i took a picture of this one my sweat was all over here no it's not there but here pi now yeah that's that's calling him rusty but um i've had them that are far far worse and cleaned them up but yeah, you kind of want to, sometimes you buy things, off, uh, when you buy things online, you think, oh, that's good, and then you'll need to find it. Uh, but not with me, because uh, this is not just a business, it's a lifestyle. Okay, I like this stuff. And see, someone told me in Australia years ago, oh, why don't you get some of these things to sell in, uh, in, uh, when I was doing some thing years ago, and uh, I'm like, you know, because there's a lot of money in it, and I'm like, don't want to. <laughs> I want to do what I want to do. I want to be involved in the things that I want to be involved in, you know? Right? Now. Okay, so beautiful piece right there. That will clean up nicely. I think I'm going to, I think I'll price Rusty a little bit cheaper. But uh, someone out there will just boil some tea and go, no, 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 no. I got it cheaper. Rusty, mate. He's good. Now, we'll go with this one here. Let me just lean, lean on me. Somebody. Now, this one here, I was wondering what to call it. And I was spinning it around and I go, yeah. holy. All right, so this is holy. Now, you'll see here, not terrible. Um... Not terrible at all. Uh, I reckon a couple, a few boils, and that'll be all. A few boils of tea, and that'll be nice. Get yourself some charcoal or coal, that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, holy, good unit. I did all the weights and measures and all that stuff. So, uh, as in fact, that that uh, real deal ceremony gong right there. T ceremony gong is. 303 mil in diameter, which means one shaku. If you're thinking uh, 12 inches, about 300 mil ish. And, uh, and uh, 300 mil is kind of a 300 mil is, is quite a, a measurement that's utilized by many a civilization, isn't it? So, uh, imperial, that's inches and stuff. And then you've got metric, right, about 300 mil. And shaku, what they use, the, the old system, they use. Uh, inches they use like 12 inches for one foot and the shaku is 10 sun is that right uh to uh to one shaku now one shaku equates to nigh on 303 millimeters 
So that is exactly one shaku. Right then, now. And you will find I've got a uh, an awesome shakuhachi in there. Zen flute fixed it, and uh, I, I gotta I gotta put the price up before I forget. Now this unit here, it's a two piece, it's real dear. Um, so that's holy. Right. The holy carburetor. Used to have a six fifty double pump back in the day. Yeah. See now. Yeah. Goes over there. Rusty goes over, boy. Oh, I don't. Now, let's move on to... Boxy. <laughs> when am I ever going to get you up? Never. I haven't scratched much on the floor here. I try to keep it pretty good. Now, uh, this dearly wheelie here. Beautiful brass piece here. Now... I would say that this one here is old new stock. Not this. This is old. The uh, Talon, Iron talon -y thing. Now I'm just calling them ta Iron Hawk Talon things because I want to. Now, this in here did have this sand stuff that you sprinkle around the bottom and then you put these talon -y things on top. Of it. I'm going to have to remove this and... Um, Take, have that taken out because of um, the machines as, as things go through the x-ray machines they'll be looking at that going hmm what's that now I don't mind that they have a check of this stuff but the thing is I pack things in such a way that I don't want customs to tear it all apart because you know they don't exactly they're not exactly going to a tea ceremony afterwards they look at this and go hmm they wouldn't exactly care <laughs> and just stuff it back in and not scratch it all around there. So, maybe there's some nice ones. I don't know. Maybe there's some customs people out there going, we're going to get you. Right then. Now. <laughs> nah, yeah, I've, seen, I've seen the uh, machine. I had to turn the, the camera thing at. It only goes for like 17 minutes and 6 seconds or something. Anyways, um, so I have been here sweating away. Woo! Um, yeah, I've seen the machines that they have. Uh, they've got these x-ray machines that things go through. And sometimes they'll pick something and go, oh, yeah, let's have a look at that. Let's open that up. Let's box that. You know, things like that. Kind of bothers me a bit because you. it's very rare to have my stuff looked at. But, you know, I've, no, I've learned over the years that, you know, you don't put something like that in there because it's, it just looks suspect. That's all. Okay. Now, um, what we're going to do is, I believe that this thing is, n this piece, must be new old stock, because, see how it's starting to get some, been sitting there for years and um, starting to get some uh, patina going on there. I reckon, because the tea ceremony, everything's got to be perfect. Everything's got to be clean, you know, like, like, perfect. So, I reckon, because this one here has this tiny little spot just right there, this one would have been overlooked, others would have been bought, and it would have been worth a lot at some stage. I think it's just because of that. That's the only reason why I've got it. <laughs> so, it comes with this box. Alright, and, alright, so that goes with that. And then I'll have to put this box in another box, and then put things all around it, and all this kind of dearly wheely. Packing is, um, it's good exercise. But some people don't really have the patience for it. But I'm glad I set up. I've got a, all that set up for that. And I'm going to set up something even better. Way better for the packing. Yep. That's a plan. Okay. Now. Um, what we have here. Uh, oh, that's boxy. This beautiful piece here. Now, this thing here. I was really lucky to get this. this what are the chaps at the uh, auction house? I went to. They wanted this. But the auctioneer bloke, he's really awesome to me. Another one that's really awesome to me. So he goes, oh, yeah. and just indicates to those guys and um, and uh, the Richie Riches. And the Richie's, oh, right on. they backed off and let me have a go at this. Fantastic. They're good dudes. Now, this thing here has got some provenance. And, yeah. I would say that this is also, same situation, new. Saying not, not 
old ones and age like that, but I reckon because this box looks like someone had some dirty thingies, picked this up and went, oh, and so with the tea ceremony thing, they, they couldn't tell that like that. Look at that. Now, Westerners, I mean, I remember I was, I was thinking about that and I was thinking, this, this woman said to me years ago, I rolled up on this, uh, my broken down, my beat up scooter, and she goes, that's rubbish. <laughs> you call my scooter rubbish? And I said, yeah, but it's cool. <laughs> right? So, I mean, the, the Western perspective, mate, we don't care. Look at that. Oh, yeah, a few marks on there. Okay, I'll have it. <laughs> you know? And I'm like, uh, but the chaps, um, these um, Chinese blokes and uh, that were at the the auction there, they they want to buy everything, you know. And um, but the deal is that uh, everyone gets to go home with good stuff. Everyone gets it. The sellers all get to, you know, have a good time, and it's worth it for them. Everyone that goes there has has a good opportunity to go home smiling. You know, they're going to be okay, and that's what it's about. Instead of going there and going home and with nothing, you know. And so in this particular case, this is this case. Now, yeah, so they really wanted it, but uh, they had, they bought a whole bunch of this other stuff, similar things, and uh, so I got to have a go at this. Yep, now that's my sweat. Um, right here, that's, the, I'm calling this one actually. Um, box, box pot new Matsu tree design. It's new, it's in a box, and it's got a much much very important tree in this country. Yeah, so what I'll do, I'll take the rings off, um, they will be uh, secured in some bubble wrap or whatever. So that's it, it's new. Now you could do with a bit of cleaning, it's must have been sitting around for a while, probably not as long as that, but uh, maybe it came from the same place, I don't know. Uh, Any similarities? No. That's my sweat. See, it's, you even get to have some of my sweat. That'll be worth a lot in like um, that's about 30 years. And people realise just how excellent I am. They'll be like, whoa, and they'll be looking for a Barry Bugo memorabilia. Now, I'm really warm. <laughs> They're having a good time. Okay, so. Right then, so, um, yes, right here. Okay, now, um, oh, that's that. I'm going to jump on the rig and get some windage going. Come. Oh, um, yeah, I am going to, that's going to be listed too. Let's end the tea ceremony for today. Reverberation is excellent. That's the real deal. Okay, so, yeah, I, uh, you know, if you're going to buy something off me, um, you know, I, I check things, I, I look things over, and, you know, I bother. Some people just, oh yeah, buy that, sell that, buy that, sell that, and couldn't care less, but I, I like this stuff. You should see it. some of these awesomenesses of awesome. That's just wowsy wowsies. I've got some wowsies there. Yeah, oh, check these out. Got a whole bunch of these dealies. <laughs> Bit small for me. These are L, I had LL. Oh, and these groovy little tatami matty deals. I've got a whole bunch of them there. And a whole bunch of them there. Oh, cool. A whole bunch of tools and stuff, and some Shinto stuff, Buddha stuff, and some chisels and all in there. That's rad. Got some rad delicious, and uh, some other rad over there. Yeah. All right. Time to. Uh, I might stick my head under that that tap for a second. <laughs> right then. All right, let's do this. Wind time. Come. <laughs> 